Greetings, dudes, dudettes, and persons of other genders and persuasions. How are you all doing? So, basically, my kids have said to me, Hey, Mum, you should do one of them vlogs on YouTube. Uh, yeah, thanks very much, kids. So, here it is. And I press says right there, my first vlog. And I thought, well, if other people can, like, flap their gums for ten minutes about basically nothing much and become famous for it, I thought, wow. Well, you know, I'll give it a go. And, you know, not to mention any names, but they know who they are. Oh, excuse me. Oh, oh. Jesus oh, oh, bless my face. Thank you. So, anyway, I thought, what can I do my first vlog about? And I thought, the first thing that comes to my mind is people are obviously going to mention my teeth. Or lack of them, in this case. Now, basically, uh, this play tale goes back to about 18 years when I got pregnant with my second child, and basically my teeth just crumbled. I had so many problems with my teeth, and I had to have so many out, and I had um, four lovely crowns across the front. I had lovely teeth. The dentist did a brilliant job back then, he really did. And I've got with me, I have got a bit of a phobia when it comes to being a dentist anyway, and needles, oh, ugh, ugh, just don't come near me with them. Ugh. Cringe-worthy. So, uh, uh, I have in the past also taken my own teeth out because I don't like the dentist. Uh, I had toothache, it was getting on my nerves. I sat in one night on my own with a bottle of vodka, drank half of it, poured half of it over my tooth, and then Paul got a pair of pliers and pulled my tooth out, which I would not recommend to anybody, okay? It's not the sort of thing you should do. Go and see your dentist. So, anyway, about six, eight months ago, I had real bad pain with the back one at the bottom here. Oh, I was in absolute agony with it. I really was. I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. So eventually, a new dentist opened up just like two minutes walk down the road from me. Yeah. So went along, made appointments, exams, blah, 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 to have it out. Anyway, on the day, it took four hours. Four hours. To pull it out. The dentist actually wrote me down in medical history saying I was the longest, most difficult extraction he had ever done. Basically, the root on the back tooth was so big and so long it had fused itself to my jawbone. In fact, on x-rays, you could still actually see a little bit still there. Yeah, it doesn't hurt nothing. Now it's gone. You know, but yeah, that really put me off going back to the dentist. So, yeah, that was uh, probably about a year ago, something like that. So anyway, but when he was pulling it out, I could feel him pushing my my front teeth. I could feel it pushing them, you know. And I said to him at the time, but he said, oh, no, it'll be all right, it'll be all right. So, you know, as you do, you think, oh, he's a professional, he knows what he's talking about. So I thought, oh, okay. But I could feel him being moved. Anyway. Uh, about, probably about eight months ago, something like that, we were still at the bus stop, going to go out and see my sister-in-law, and I was chewing my chewing gum, like you do, 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 and all of a sudden, crap, one of my crumbs fell off. And I'm like, what? Oh, crap. Well, actually, I said something a bit stronger, but, you know, this is, I want to keep this PG rated. <laughs> um, so I'm like, oh, God, then it, you know. So I thought, oh, nothing of it, still have me other ones. Anyway, a couple of weeks later, bump, bump, two others went. Hence why I'm left with just this one. You know, and I'm thinking, oh my God, so I go back to the dentist, and the dentist says, can't do anything about it because the tooth had snapped. The tooth was stuck inside the crown. Couldn't do nothing about it, so I'm like, oh, bugger. So anyway, I just thought, ah, I'll put up with it. You know, I'm not really in any pain with them, stuff like that. But it was only, like, over Christmas and that, and I've also noticed I spit more when I talk. I don't think I talk for, I, I think, no, a bit hissy when I talk because I've only got the one tooth there. Eating is a, is a nightmare. It's a wonder I haven't lost weight because all I seem to eat at the moment is soft stuff. You know, uh, it's a wonder I haven't lost weight. And it's just sort of like, oh, no, I couldn't put up with it anymore. So, plus it's my two eldest. It, this year it's, I'm doing a joint 18th and 21st birthday party for them. So that was the kick up the bum I needed to go right, go down, get yourself some dentures, 
so at least you can smile and eat. You know, so uh, last week, last Monday, I had three out, started on this side at the back and a couple there. Uh, today, I went down and had an impression took for me dentures where they stick this like plaster of Paris stuff and you think, <laughs> and you end up with pink stuff. I think I've still got some there somewhere, actually. You know, just pink stuff all over your face. It's disgusting. And then i got to go back next week and have four more out. I'm having that one and then two out. Plus there's a half of one stuck at the back up there that they're going to take out as well. And then I'll have to then go back about a week later and have an impression took. So it'll probably be about three or four weeks before I get any dentures. Which is going to be a pain in the ass for eating. And I'm going to look like a complete twat going, <laughs> with no teeth. Bad enough, the kids call me Nanny McPhee as it is. Mm -hmm. Nanny McPhee. Mm -hmm. oh, it's great for Halloween, though, scaring the kids. <laughs> anyway, um, so, yeah. Um, I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to do a daily vlog or a weekly vlog or just vlog a log. I don't know. Um, vlog when I feel like it. So, I mean, if anybody can think, like, well, you know, oh, yeah, do a daily one. Because, like, my life so exciting as it is. You know, I'm sure I could find something to talk about every day. I can talk the hind legs off a back, back legs off a donkey or whatever the expression is sometimes. Um, so anyway, I haven't thought of an outro yet either. I've been told I have to have an intro and an outro. And all this technical jargon. So if anybody can think of a good outro, and don't put stupid stuff like, oh, why don't you tell them all to beep off? Uh, yeah, very mature. Haha, <laughs> I'm too old. You know, I'm going to be 45 in a couple of weeks. You know, <clears throat> none of this hater stuff and this, I still love it, why are you doing this? <laughs> yeah, like I give a crap. I'm doing this because I want to, and also because I want to embarrass my kids. <laughs> like, I let babies on YouTube. Ha, 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 ha. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, if anybody can think of a good outro that's not rude, ideally, um, then, yeah, just put it in the comments below and, you know, like me, subscribe me and whatever else it is you do. I don't know. I just watch stuff. Um, so, yeah, take care and I hope to see you all again soon, okay? Bye-bye.